When callers reach your business attendant, messages you've recorded provide information and guide their calling experience. In this video, part two, we'll show you how to record and upload your messages. For an overview of business attendant and to learn how to plan the caller's experience, watch part one, understand and plan. When you're ready to set up your business attendant call trees, watch part three. A quick reminder, you'll need to record a few different messages, including a welcome message or greeting, such as thank you for calling, and one that lists caller options, such as for sales, tap one, to hear our business hours, tap two, to leave a message, tap three. You might also want to record messages that give your business hours, directions to your location, or other information. In our example, if callers tap 2, they hear, we're open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. Also recall that you can record a different set of messages that play outside your business hours. For example, your out-of-hours greeting might be, thank you for calling, we're now closed. With your written messages in hand, you're ready to record them. With the Business Attendant Recording Tool, you can record messages using any number associated with your AT&T Phone for Business account. Or you can use other recording tools if you save the recording in WAV format. In a moment, we'll show you where to upload a WAV file. If you're using the Business Attendant Recording Tool, you'll need the phone you'll use to record and a device for logging in. Find a quiet time and place to record and have your message text at hand. First, sign in and go to the Business Attendant page. To learn how, watch the video Sign In and Access Your Phone Features. On the Business Attendant page, make sure that Business Attendant is set to off. Next, click the Message Library tab. If you're recording using your phone, check that the callback number is correct. To choose another AT&T phone for business number, click Edit. When you're ready to record, you'll get a call at the selected number. Now, click Create New Message. You'll see two options. If you have pre-recorded messages saved as WAV files, select the first option. For this example, we'll use the callback tool, so we'll select the second option. When you're ready, click Save. Your phone will ring. Answer the call and follow the instructions you hear to record your message. When you're satisfied with your recording, follow the instructions to save it. You'll see it appear in your message library. For your caller options message, repeat the steps and do the same for any other messages, like your business hours message. To see how much recording time is available, check the usage meter. Business Attendant can store up to about five minutes of total recording time for all your files. Now that you've recorded and saved your messages, you're ready to set up your call trees. In part three, we'll show you how. To view part three and other videos, go to www.att.com slash SMB how to videos. For step-by-step -step help, go to the support center at att.com slash small biz support. 